viewers welcome back to cuisines and culture with sally today we are in the kitchen as you can see <laughs> we're going to learn how to make native okra soup today um yeah i know everybody will say we know how to make okra soup but trust me there are some things that you know we learn every day so today we're going to learn how to make native nigerian okra soup actually how i make it my own way you know how the northerners make it we have our own okra actually it's called bushe shonku ewa it's dried okra that is um like the name let me say the traditional one that we have but you know fresh okra is just like um traditional food in nigeria so that is what we're going to learn today okay before we go if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe click uh, the subscribe button and then press the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you'll be the first to be notified and subscription is free because now uh -uh, please now let's <laughs> Let's, let's, let's keep pushing you know it's this hard work we are putting to post content for you people for entertainment and for you know educative uh, means to learn you know and then also to be entertained it's work well. just subscribe share with family and yeah if you're a comeback member thank you so much for the support i in fact the support is overwhelming and i'm very grateful to all our subscribers god bless you don't forget to share with family and friends again so let us go to the cooking method now so i'm going to be using um omo as you can see here i've already cleaned and washed my omo with hot water and salt in fact all my meat vegetables fish and everything i love washing everything with hot water and salt because i don't want any stories that touch the hand <laughs> yeah so i have one more i have cow um no sorry goat meat i'm saying <laughs> because the goat meat out flesh i got this cow imagine i have goat meat i have dry fish i have um scotch bonnet and garlic here i just pounded it roughly then i have my salt and maggi cubes i have my um ginger this is powdered ginger i love using powdered ginger anyways first ginger is good yeah but i don't know i love the taste of powdered ginger and then this is the dawa or some people call it the wadawa but we call it the dawa in house um, you will see how i will use my the dawa this is how i marinate my meat actually if i'm cooking native soups i don't really like using onions like this goat's meat i love the smell you understand when that ah lord jesus <laughs> when that smell is coming out you understand so right now we are going to go ahead and marinate our meat for some minutes like let's say 30 minutes and then we will come back and we will boil our meat i am going to be boiling my goat meat together with the mama because their cooking time is almost the same so i'm going to boil them together then for the dry fish i will put them together when the cooking process starts so let's marinate the meat i show you how i marinate my meat let's go i'm going to go ahead and put in my goat meat i love goat meat eh? my best of the best is. and i'll put in my omo then i'll marinate them together this momo in this country eh? the momo has me <laughs> as meat i am telling you so i'm going to go ahead and add my ginger powder 
so i've told you i like ginger powder it gives some really nice taste to your meal and then i'll go ahead and add my maggi cubes i'm going to add two of this i'm going to add two maggi cubes yep and then i'm going to add some salt not too much um, but just to taste um, yeah i think this is better later i can add my salt if i want then now i'm going to add my scotch bonnet and garlic that i blended roughly in my small tabaria and turmi Motor and pistol. Yeah, that's the body I'm to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then lastly, this is what I want to show you. You can skip this process if you want, but it's good to add this process. Let me put it that way. Um, what I do is I add dawa dawa, or is the dawa you can call it. I add dawa dawa in my marination. It gives it, I don't know, some kind of taste. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it's just heavily. Yeah, so I'm going to add dawa dawa. I'm still going to add a little bit of dawa dawa while cooking the okra. But now for marinating, I'm also going to marinate it with this the dawa. It's actually the dawa in house server. It's called dawa dawa. This is the one I got there from the Afro store here in Germany and it's really good it doesn't have sand and it's blended if you're from the north you know how our the dawa is now i'm telling you it's really nice and it's from a guinea store actually it's an afro guinea store so i think maybe there's some house people in guinea i don't know let's leave it that way <laughs> so i will give it a good stir um the stir no meat <laughs> so yeah so that each part will be coated with the spices and all this is a traditional food i don't like adding all those uh curry so people are curry wait wait how you are curry at time it's like i don't like this kind of thing anyway so yeah i'm going to marinate it for i said 30 minutes and i will come back and boil my meat yeah so this is the meat after 13 minutes of marination i think i marinated it over 30 minutes even <laughs> yeah i think i marinated it over 30 minutes you can marinate it as long as you want you can even marinate meat overnight so i've already on my oven hmm. as you're hearing at the stove <laughs> yeah so this is how it is after marination now i'm going to add enough water just to cover the meat and i am going to close it and cook it until it is soft yeah like very very soft especially the bomber this bomber is looking at me like <laughs> something i don't do so yeah now i'm going to close it and we will allow this to cook so oh, guys <laughs> sorry our meat and bobo have been cooking for like i think an hour or something <laughs> yeah so um i am going to remove all the meat and also put the meat stock somewhere else i will use it later and then some of our ingredients that i didn't introduce is this this is crayfish and scotch bonnet i'm going to pound it roughly and this is some okra that i'm going to pound again with this my small tabaria through me <laughs> that is our okra yeah and another thing is potash i told you this is a native food it's called kamwa in Hausa, so I'm going to use this potash in my soup as well. One for the color and also it helps it draw. 
potash healthy draw then this is my palm oil as you can see i don't know if you can see but this is my palm oil i got it from the guinea store in fact if you're in germany this is the best palm oil it's like nigerian palm oil it's actually the best if you can get this one your soup will taste good all right now let me um take out my meat first Okay, so now what I'll do is my palm oil. I'm going to put some palm oil in the pot. My this thing is on low. My chemical is on, <laughs> is on low. I'm just going to put a little bit of palm oil and then i will put my fish my dried fish i'm going to saute it for some minutes yep i'm going to uh -huh. this is another part i want you to know so i'm going to add dawa dawa again to my meat just as uh, to my fish just as i did to my meat yesterday i'm going to just add a little bit of the dawa to it and a little bit of salt as well to eat just a little bit of the dough and a little bit of salt and i'll saute it together with the palm oil i'm going to saute it and yeah and then i'll take it out again so i'll saute this for like a minute until the fish is fried very well i increased my um this in my stove so on this thing so that as you can see i don't know if you can see the in <laughs> inside so yeah I'm kind of sauteing it until it is fried I'll fry it very well <laughs> You need to try this method. Try this method and get back to me and let me know how it tastes. Yeah. So now the next thing is I'm going to stir fry my with a little bit of palm oil. Not too much, but just a little bit of palm oil. I am going to saute my okra too. Yeah. So this one, I'm going to use it like at the end or something. So I'm going to saute this one 
that I didn't pound and I'll saute it till it becomes um what do you call it? till it draws yeah move it that way till it draws and I'm going to add a little bit of salt I saute it with a little bit of salt just a pinch for taste and all that so we saute the taste the taste until it starts drawing I see very much okay for me though some of them are fly away <laughs> they have flown away so the one that i i decker <laughs> i mashed i'm going to put it in now and saute them together again as you can see this one is drawing ma she comes drawing already. Where well, you mean if not a fat you are? I'm not fat you are. I'll saute them together again. So I'm gonna put my scotch bonnet and my um, crayfish here now. So I think it's okay. Then I come back to my opera. Wow, woo. it is looking good. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, see how slimy it is. Drawing now, see. Wow, wow. You see, when I mix it with the one that I I blended roughly, it's like it just made it draw. Like, look, look at this. Look at this it's drawing. Should we make it draw more? <laughs> How do you like your opera? Please comment in the comment section below. Do you want it to draw? Or you want it like me, yeah, it should draw, but you know, not so much. I try, I try, until you try it no more. So I love this consistency, I'm so much okay with it. It's drawing and it's fine for me, it's okay. So, what I'll do now, I'll introduce my meat stock. You remember the meat stock I kept by the side? 
I'm going to introduce it now. Oh, he's hot. So I'm going to put it a little bit. Let me add more. Then I'll add the rest later. Yeah. Okay. Let me take this back. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this to bring it to a boil. I think I'm going to add the water. So as you can see, it's boiling, 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 boiling. <laughs> yeah, it's boiling nicely. I'm going to add my palm oil now and leave it to continue. But I'm not going to close it. This is like okra. This is draw soup. I'm not going to close it because sometimes when you close it, these draw soups, when you close it, then it doesn't draw it again. This palm oil. Yeah, so I'm going to add some palm oil to this. Not much, oh yeah. It's okay, it's not size palm oil. Me, I love palm oil inside also, by the way. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it now to continue boiling it. Mm, not really having the color. So, this is what potash does it gives it a nice color and it makes it draw. As well so I'm going to add this potash like in the next few minutes but now first let me add this my mashed crayfish and scotch bonnet I like my okra hot when I mean hot I mean hot like give me water mm -hmm. like that okay. So I'm going to add my Maggie star. I love using Maggie star to be honest. That's the only Maggie I love to use. Not a beef, beef seasoning or whatever. This is just Maggie, just Maggie like this. I like using it. So I'm going to use like two cubes and maybe add salt a little bit. And yeah, okra doesn't like too much salt. <laughs> yeah, when you put too much salt, I notice sometimes you just get too much. So I'll add this to my gate test for salt again. If it is okay, then yeah, I'm gonna add salt. But if it's not okay, then maybe I'll just add my gate, but I'm not at salt. I don't know. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Are you seeing this opera? Are you seeing what I am seeing? Look at this. Just look at this. The color, everything is setting in nicely. The palm oil. Wow. Look at how beautiful it looks. By the way, I'm going to add a little bit of water like later. Now, what I'll do is I am going to add my. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yes, my dadawa. I'm going to add my dadawa right now. I love the dadawa. It gives it taste. So this much dadawa, I love putting in my cooking. Yep. And I'm going to add potash now. I told ya. You see how it will foam. You see, it's foaming already. I won't add too much because potash in the za. I call me zafi. It means, um, 
I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, I call me Zafi. I can't understand how the Zafi I can now. Look at this. Look at how this is drawing beautifully. First, add my this thing fish. You know, I just fried it, so I'm going to add my fish. A fish now, uh, dried fish that we have fried. Dried fish that we have fried. Wow, hey, ah, the obstacles in this soup. Well, I hit a lot. He say good, yeah. I'm, I'm going to allow it to cook for some minutes, but I'm going to add a little bit of water now because um, the okra is a little bit thick for me, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to introduce my meat now, and then we'll leave it to cook for maybe some minutes for salt and all that, and our soup will be done. So we are back again and we are done with our cooking and now is the time for tasting I'm even swallowing <laughs> I'm even swallowing saliva today is now is the you know testing time we are going to taste the soup and you understand what I mean now let's eat the please let me know what you I like playing them. Um, let's just taste the um, soup now. Guy, look at this okra soup. As in literally, this soup, I'm, I don't even think I'll take it with two. Yes, I'll take it with two. Uh, maybe two and shinkafa fufu. Gary, you can take it with anything, by the way. But, bro, I will lick this soup like this. I am telling you. See, eh? let's taste it. I die, Lord. Jesus, help you, God. Hey, Jehovah Nisi. Mm -mm. Well, like, we have food in Nigeria. Okay. Mm. The ghost meat room. Mm. I have soft you for more yourself. Come to my. Oh no, there's Corona. Don't go to my house. <laughs> Lockdown. Don't come to my house. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to finish my food later, but man, this is so good. You need to try this method of cooking. Ah, Jesus. Please let me finish quickly. I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, I will see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Subscribe. You understand? Subscribe and let's move forward. And if you haven't seen some of my videos, you can check some of my videos and, you know, just learn some things about the North and be entertained as well. So I will see you in my next video. I'm going to dig in, finish my food. I'm busy swallowing saliva, please. Ciao, ciao.